Hello, I'm Taylor Holmes, as always. Um, I recently haven't kept up with the video footage because I've been working a lot slash doing a lot of homework and I haven't really had time to mess with this. And as soon as you see this footage you're going to see now, you'll understand why. There's a lot of stuff I've done, um, a lot of stuff that I'm experimenting with. Good news is, I've got the thermoelectric units. I have received them. Uh, there's two of them. They came from Hong Kong. Or, yeah, Hong Kong. And, um, they only cost about, you know, seven or eight bucks each. And, uh, they came in really good condition. They were packed very well, very securely. The reason they took so long was because of customs through the airports and things like that. That's what I figured, finally figured out was the problem with uh, shipping them. That's why they took so long. So if you're going to get some and you don't want to wait a while, don't sh try to ship it from China. That's all i got to say about that. Anyway, I've set up an experiment here, and I'm going to see how much I can get out of these Peltier units using the Seebeck effect. And I'll be showing you that in a second. <coughs> all right. Right here, I have a little hot plate. It's designed for, you know, putting your coffee cup on, or a candle, or whatever. I've never had a reason to use this until now. This thing, I've already tested it, is about 180 degrees on the surface. And these are my Peltier units. I did that little fudge mark because I tried using a lighter. Don't do that. That just leaves black shit on stuff. So just, just go with something less, you know, flamboyant or whatever. Okay, <clears throat> so this is going to be my source of heat. On this side, I'm hoping they're going to cool. Now, I don't have a heat sink on top of it. This right here is my, what I'm using is a voltmeter. It's producing 0.3 volts right now. And uh, this would be my amp meter. And um, there's not any amp, or, there's no current going through it right now. Reason being is, I have it connected with this LED light. It's a little diode, and uh, it's not going to light up at all until I get about 2 volts going through it. And I only have about 3, like 0.3 volts right now. So what I'm going to do is, I put one of my heat sinks in the freezer. Right here. So this is really cold. This is probably around 20 degrees Fahrenheit cold. Watch what happens whenever I set this heat sink there. See that red light? And that's all my readings right there. I've got about 2.4 volts. The light is on. And I've got about 0.05 amps going through there. And uh, my LED light's going really strong. Really, really strong. I'm going to turn off the lights in a sec so you can see how bright it is. Alright, here we go. It's a little darker in here. And there it goes. There's my little LED light. Shining away. I just pulled that out of a, an old dead camera that we had that didn't work anymore. And it seems to be working fine now. That's one component of it that definitely worked. It's a really strong LED. It's, uh, it's red, so... Red LEDs generally are rated around 2 volts. You can't get anything out of them until you put about 2 volts through them. They're uh, also LEDs are called light emitting diodes because they are in fact diodes and you can only p put electricity through them in one direction. Uh, if you try to go the opposite way, absolutely no electricity will go through and you'll probably just ruin the diode. But anyway, based on the heat difference here, is how I'm getting this power. This power is coming from nothing but these thermoelectric units, and that's what I'm here showing you today. This cold sink, when I first put it on, of course, it was about 20 degrees or something like that. This hot plate is about 180 degrees. And um, there is a problem, of course. I don't have it. I have the heat sink insulated or anything around the edges of the Peltier units. So, yeah, it goes right back up again. So that's the reason why uh, the heat transfer is really inefficient here, because most of the heat is actually not going through the Peltier units at all. It's mostly going through just the air between the hot plate and the heat sink. 
And uh, I think it's amazing that I could get a couple of volts just like that. <laughs>